Hey guys, um, I'm back and I wanted to come back not because I feel like I have to, but because I know a lot of you don't really understand what it is that I do. Um, sometimes I hear from people that I need to get a job or that I don't help Jeff um, financially. Um, I get asked an awful lot, what's that you do again? Um, so I thought that I would come on and kind of explain what my job is and maybe show you guys. Um, because I know if you've never done it and maybe you don't know anybody that does do this, maybe you don't understand. So first and foremost, more, foremost bah, I can't talk tonight, guys. Um, I am an author. I am an author of numerous books, and I am also a freelance writer who has literally been published in hundreds of magazines and newspapers, both uh, throughout the United States and internationally. So we're going to start with that. And I don't have everything in front of me because literally if I pulled everything, I've got an entire shelf, one of those metal garage shelves, plump full of different things that I've written, uh, books, magazines, newspapers. So if I pulled everything out to show you guys, we'd be here like all night. First of all, I'm going to start with my book, um, The Complete Idiot's Guide to Seed Saving and Starting. This is my photo right here. Every photo in this book is actually my photo that I took. Um, this is what the inside of the book looks like. Um, I know that this is cutting things off, and I'm sorry about that. Um, it's the best that I can do. There are lots of photos in this book. Um, like I said, this is um, right here. It tells you my book. Um, the other book that I did, well, the other major book that I did, because I have a lot of anthologies I've contributed to. I have a lot of smaller books I've done, including a lot of 101 tip books. Um, but the other major book is this one, The Complete Eats Guide to Year-Round Gardening. This was co-written uh, with Delilah Smittle. And um, these are not my photographs in this book. Um, these are all ones that, uh, Delilah had a professional photographer take. And as you can see, again, lots and lots of information. Um, I did 12 chapters of year-round gardening in 17 days. So I was literally doing nothing but sitting in front of a computer writing. I did the complete idiot's guide to seed saving and starting all of the photographs all of the writing, the table of contents, the appendixes, everything in six weeks. The complete idiot guide books are written really, really fast. And when I say I spent 12 to 16 hours a day in front of a computer, I'm just not even kidding you guys. Um, it was very intensive and it definitely was really quick burnout. So, um, it's a lot more intense than writing for newspapers or for magazines. Um, I do a lot of 24 hour turnaround articles and people know that they can call me and they can ask me if I can write something and can you have it to me within 24 hours? And I've done an awful lot of that. So I don't like writing query letters, which is one reason why I don't have stacks of work. It's just, um, it's not something I enjoy and I know it's all part of the business, but you know, sometimes, um, there's things you just don't like. Now I'm going to flip the camera around, um, because I actually, I guess I'm going to have to hold this. I'm going to show you guys my computer screen. This is one of my blogs and, um, I actually, let me see. Can I? Yes, I can. Oh boy. Um, I actually do the photography 
the writing, at least the majority of it on this page. Um, I'm the webmaster now. So what that means is the design, the plugins. Um, I do have hosting that helps me with tech support. But basically everything on this page is done by none other than me. Um, I do the graphic design, which I know isn't the greatest, but it's what I am able to do. Um, basically everything here is my idea, my content, or sometimes I do purchase content or photos. Um, we have a page for people that are brand new to the site and have never seen the site that kind of explains it. Um, there is a sign up box here for my free homesteading e-course for people that want to sign up for that. Um, I talk a little bit about it. Um, on this blog, we cover a lot of topics. Um, lifestyle. We do a lot of organic lifestyle articles on here. Um, of course, home remodeling, decorating, cleaning, fashion, beauty, and toy reviews. Um, I give a list of some of the more popular posts. We talk about prepping, uh, survival, and emergency preparedness. And I know that some of you just don't understand what this is. If you've ever lived through a natural disaster, if you've ever lived through a hard time where maybe money was hard to come by and uh, you didn't know where your next meal was going to come from or whatever, you know, this is some of the stuff that we talk about. We also talk about what to do if, you know, I don't know, I don't want to say zombie apocalypse, but if something really, really bad happens. So um, lots of things there. Also, we talk about homesteading and how to get your homestead to a self-sustaining ability. There, that's that's a good way to say it. Um, we talk about animal husbandry, everything from dogs to chickens to goats. Um, how to take care of them, you know, what to do in the event that something happens. Now, I have torn a lot of my posts down because I'm redoing this site, but they'll all be back up. We have a lot of crafting going on over here. Uh, cricket crafts, birthday cards, uh, bath bombs, goat milk, soap, all kinds of different ideas for kids and adults. So if you like to craft, you definitely want to come over and check out the Crafty Creations section of the blog. And then we have cooking. We have a focus on cast iron recipes, but we also do sous vide. Um, we have a few slow cooker recipes and we're going to be adding more. And then we have just your regular run-of-the-mill recipes, you know, cakes, cupcakes, uh, things you can make in a skillet, things you can make in an oven, vegetable recipes, all kinds of side dishes. Um, so we have lot, a variety of recipes that some of you might be interested in. We also have food preservation, which includes canning, freezing, dehydrating, root cellaring, um, lots of different ideas on how to preserve the food that you grow, or maybe even the food that you buy in bulk. Because I realize not everybody can grow their own food. Some people buy it. Some people buy just you know, at the grocery store, maybe they have a buy one, get one free sale and you want to buy that extra, but what do you do with it? You can get some ideas over here on Experimental Homesteader. We also have free downloads and printables. Um, some of our downloads are also Disney related downloads. So some of you might like those, um, especially if you have kids. We have free ebooks, we have e-courses, we have PDFs. We have chalkboard mason jar labels. Lots and lots of things. And then, of course, how you can learn more. So, 
you can click on this. Every one of these links are clickable, both on this side and over here. So everything is clickable. We have, of course, seasonal content. Uh, we have a bunch of our freebies listed right here. You know, we have an about page and different things here. We actually have a shop over here. And you can click that and you can go see some of the things that we have for sale. Um, some of the e-courses, some of the books, um, different things if you're interested in any of that. So that is vlog, or blog, sorry, number one. And that is experimentalhomesteader.com. Number two is my sherryannrichardson.com and it is just my name all together with a dot com after it and over here we talk about technology photography ta travel and vlogging i don't have a lot of content up at the moment because again i'm redoing this entire site but there is um lots of content on here and uh, different things that you can come find out about. Also on this page, um, I have an about section. I have some of the latest articles I've written, the books, reviews of my books, presentations, and presentations I can give by request. I have copies of when I've been in the news, achievements, a podcast and YouTube because I did have a podcast at one time. Uh, social media links, photos, press releases, photographs, client list, and testimonials. So if you want to see some of the, uh, I need to update that. Some of the things that I've done, my writing employment history, articles, you know, radio, internet presence, membership, lectures given. If you want to see that and you actually want to go through it, it's all right here. So you can look and you can uh, find out more if you're interested in that. I also have some testimonials. And these are things that people have had to say about me after I have worked with them. Um, this one is from one of the senior acquisitions editor at Alpha Books, which was an imprint of Penguin USA. Uh, they're the ones that put out the complete idiot's guides. And there are a lot of uh, different um, testimonials here. I do have all of these testimonials in writing, actual in handwriting um, that were sent to me. And the ones that were sent over the internet, I have the original emails that I believe I printed out for anyone who would be interested in seeing the actual hard copies of these. And these go way back, um, as some of you know, who know who some of these people are. Um, again, you can see, you know, pretty well, whatever you want. And then I have links to some of my other blogs because I do have four. This is my exotic gardening, which was my very first one. The URL is exoticgardening.com. And... This has to do all about gardening. Um, these are the different topics that we cover. I do have a shop section here. And I want to go down. If you go down here to the gardens and you click on that, you can either click on it and learn about them. You can see a slideshow. You can click on these and see some of the different gardens. Um, lots of photographs with a little bit of information. 
if you click on these, like this is the walnut garden, it's going to open up and it's going to take you over here. And is that still there? Oh, I guess that I need to maybe double check this. I thought that I had a lot more photographs there. Okay, I do. I just don't have them in the walnut garden. This is the butterfly garden. And lots of photographs um, with some explanations underneath the photos of some of what you're looking at. I do need to work on this a little bit more, I know. Um, but anyway, you can see the different gardens we have here at the farm. And they're all listed. Um, and then I have, this is my biannual blogathon bash.com. This is all about blogging. So for those of you that are bloggers, you might be interested in this uh, site. Again, you can, well, I guess I only have home up here. I guess I haven't filled this out with all the topics yet. Um, this is a site that I actually bought off of someone that they had started and decided they wanted to sell off. So I went ahead and bought it. Um, this book here, Skyrocket, I'm just going to tell you. Uh, Kelly and Crystal, if you don't know who they are and you're a blogger, you need to know who they are. Love this book. Um, this was my introductory book into their products. And I have all of their products. And I am also in their uh, monthly influencer group so um absolutely love them and really want to highly recommend that any of their products not just the skyrocket book but any of their products if you're a blogger um like i said lots of lots of different content over here that bloggers or influencers might be interested in so give it a try and then i want to talk about my YouTube channel. Um, it is under my name, Sherry Ann Richardson. We do a daily vlog. We're trying to grow. We're trying to reach 10,000 subscribers because here's the deal. When you reach 10,000 subscribers, YouTube gives you special privileges. The more subscribers you have, the more privileges you get on YouTube. So I'm trying to reach that 10,000 mark. Um, we're at 2,174 right now. We blog about so much. Not just the daily vlog that talks about our life. But we have homesteading and prepping videos. We have food preservation videos. Yes, I go in my kitchen and I show you exactly how to do this. Um, I have cooking videos where, again, I'm in my kitchen. I'm showing you how to do this. I have animal husbandry videos where we talk about natural pet care. I tell you how to do things. I show you things that my animals are doing, what they're eating, all kinds of cool things. I have a crafting channel. And again, this is hands-on. So much of it shows you how to do it. Gives you crafting ideas. Um, this is our daily vlog, of course. Jeff and I take turns doing that. Um, I talk about some of my e-courses and books. So if you want to know more, you can find that out on our YouTube channel. I do product reviews. Not a lot anymore because it all got to be too much um, for me to really be able to spend the time I wanted to really go in depth on the products. So for the most part, I've kind of quit that. I do occasionally do a few. Um, and of course we have playlist over here. So this is kind of what I do. In addition to, I have multiple Facebook pages for those of you that don't know. And I also have a variety of groups. This is my main Facebook page, um, that I try to get everybody on. And then I have groups. I have a homesteading and prepping group. I have a gardening year round group. I have a cooking at home group, a learning food preservation group, a crafted creations group. 
Um, I also do sell some blog content, so I have a group for that. I have a group for bloggers. I have a talking shop group, but that's a closed group. Um, so basically, I don't let a lot of people in that group. I do have a mastermind group. Again, it's a closed group. A homestead mastermind, also closed, and a ways to make money, which is a uh, another closed group. But I have all of these public groups up here um, that people are welcome to join, and I try to share stuff in my groups and I try to answer questions and hopefully help people with whatever their problems are that they might be struggling with or you know just we can talk about anything that's on topic in these groups so that takes a lot of time um the next question I want to address is do I help Jeff financially yes I do I actually make an income from doing all of this. It certainly is not as large as his income at this moment. But it is an income and it does help to pay the bills or do the extra things that we might want to do. And so this is what I do. I know this is not for everybody. Um, it does take a lot of time and a lot of effort to get all of this done. That's not a complaint, by the way. That's just a statement. And, you know, like I said, sometimes I buy some content. Sometimes people share some content with me that I get to publish. And I really appreciate that because the truth be told... I can't be everywhere all at once, so um, I try to focus on different tasks every day, and I just try to do the best I can do, because this all of this really is more than an 8 or an even 12-hour-a-day job. It really is something that a lot of people have a staff to help them do. I... For the most part, I'm doing it by myself. You know, like I said, I do get a little help, but not a lot. And this is something that I've actually been writing online and blogging since 1997. I was one of the first 30 bloggers online, and I'm still going. It's been a long journey, and tearing stuff down to be able to restructure and make it better for everybody has been difficult but I think I think the rewards are there I think people are going to find it easier to find the content and I think that I'm really glad that I did this even though it has made a lot of extra work on my end I do think when it's all back up and I'm back to running on a regular schedule and not trying to play catch up and repost it's going to be better so, um, it's definitely a decision I'm glad I made. So, I hope that helps to explain kind of what I do and what goes on in my life during the day. Uh, I promise you I'm not watching soap operas and eating bonbons, even though that's, you know, the popular misconception. <laughs> um, I... I want to flip this around. I really wish my life was all about just, you know, sitting on the couch and watching soap operas and eating bonbons, except the problem with that is I don't like soap operas or like drama, drama, drama. So um, I don't think that would work well for me. Um, I do wish with gardening season coming up that I could spend more time outside and depending on how the garden goes this year, I may shift away from working so much online to actually being out in the yard. Um, as some of you know, I have two and a half acres. It is completely landscaped. So there's a lot of work out there. Um, believe me, I could spend 12 hours a day, seven days a week in this yard all summer long and still possibly not be caught up. So anyway, guys, um, like I said, I hope that explains it um 
And I hope you all have a better idea of what I do now. So thanks for watching and have a great night.